tomato was quite tasty. I like the combination of flavours, um, but the prawn was probably not as warm as it could have been. So I give Megan a seven. Um, yeah, very good. Um, glad they weren't stinging nettles as Stephen thought they were. Um, the rosemary. Um, good times. I'm not drunk enough yet, so I'll keep it short. That's a nine. I have to say I enjoyed that. Good start to the evening. I give that a very solid eight. See how the evening goes. Very nice for my first prawn ever. So I'm going to give it a seven. <clears throat> well, uh, prawn, bacon, rosemary, my bouche is suitably amused. Um, but I had nothing else to score it against, so it is a seven for Megan. I think it went fairly well. It was sort of a good mouthful of flavour, which is what I was aiming for. I think maybe the bacon could have been a little bit thinner, so maybe some sort of parma ham next time, potentially, so it doesn't have to spend quite so long in the pan as the prawn was a bit dry. Um, so, but overall, I think it was a good, a good course, met the aim of the course, and I imagine I'll probably getting an average of seven or eight out of ten. Hopefully, shall wait and see. Okay, um, so it was the bruschetta. It was very good. Um, the bruschetta was well done. Well done. Oh, I just showed the score. Well done. Um, but it was very good. I enjoy caramelised onion. Um, took a while, but good things are worth waiting for. I thought it was very nice. The goat's cheese was nice and soft. The balsamic glaze was lovely, but the bread was a little bit thick and a little bit overdone. So seven out of ten from me. Well done. Well, I think it's safe to say it was lovely, but the only drawback for me was I had to cut it like a saw. But it did taste amazing. I don't like goat's cheese, so. A solid seven for me. I give Charlotte a starter an eight. <coughs> Hello, so um, Charlotte's course, good course. Um, caramelised onions, cracking. Um, it's probably because I cut them. But um, overall, I'm going to say an eight out of ten. Cracking. Hello. Um, I think my course went alright. I think people that didn't like ghost cheese and didn't like onion actually liked it, so that was good. But I wish that I had um, sorted out the ciabatta and so it wasn't so hard. But I don't really know how to do that. Anyway. <coughs> Chris's course. Jaeger bomb. Pocket jelly. <laughs> Solbay. Good, I would say. Very, very good. Um, yeah, a nine. Nine. Ooh. Got to say, huge fan. Brilliant. Um, got a good lemon taste in my mouth. But that's not really cleansed my palate, unfortunately. So, seven. Good inventiveness. I like the idea of not having just one, but I apologise. Well, I have to say that was a pleasant surprise. A Jaeger bomb is a Jaeger bomb. It's not a, something special, but the, the jelly vodka was, was nice, maybe a little strong, but the sorbet was very, very good. So for a, what I was expected to be a fairly disappointing course, hey, well done, Flappy. <laughs> it's a very well presented and very nice palate cleanser. It's an eight. Jaeger bomb plus vodka jelly plus vodka sorbet equals 10. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I was told I should have churned my sorbet more, so I'll let um, the people at Green and Whites know that. Um, they'll probably be pleased to know. So, yeah, I, I didn't make the sorbet, sorry guys. Um, but I did, kind of, because I had to melt it to pour the vodka in. Um, which is why it's so tasty. Um, they do this on Come Dine With Me all the time, you can't be angry. 
Um, but yeah, I, I think it went okay. Um, spilled a lot of Jaeger everywhere. My hands are still sticky, but it was a uh, hmm, good. So well, this is a difficult decision because I know what David gave me as long as he didn't lie to me. But um, I'm gonna have to rate him higher because I didn't make my sorbet. And um, he had a lot of queefs, queefs in his um, his castle. Um, hang on, if I turn this score around, it's gonna reflect properly. Is that? that, that, that I'm gonna guess that's fine. Um, so, whichever way around it looks best, this one the highest score, ten. Oh, hang on, oh, someone's coming. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Carry on. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man I'm gonna be the man who's coming home. you know it gives me some sort of random orgasm I can't give it a 10 so a 9 for me and that's that's, that's a fantastic score coming from me I, I'm, I'm a harsh marker I've got to say but especially after that performance of 500 miles you know I was partly involved but yeah there was uh, there was fail yeah that, that's all I can say for that so I, good luck well, David, congratulations. Very good, Cassolet. Everything I expected, except maybe the beans could have been a little bit bigger, maybe a different variety, but as it's not Uncle Chris's and it's not the original Cassolet, I give it 9 as opposed to 10 out of 10. Be Uncle Chris, you'll get yourself a 10. Hello, this is for David's course. Um, I think Meaties has probably had a better time with this than me, but I still really, really like mine, and I'm glad that he gave me some courgette because otherwise it would have been quite a low mark because it would have just been sausage and beans. But uh, overall, I like to give David an eight. Second cast I've ever had deserves a nine. <coughs> so we've had Castle. Possibly the greatest dish of all time. We've heard from Vic Cook, forward slash mystery flaps, forward slash the weather, that, you know, our singing of Come Down With Me, which has ruined this sofa, I make, you know, no, no point of a lie, is, is a way to ruin a moment. I contest that point. Um, you know, I would like to say that Castle has been the greatest dish so far of the evening. And you know what's to say? We've ruined a sofa. Okay, you know let's not let's not get too hess up about it. We have ruined a sofa, but we have created gastronomic history. Stick that in your saucepan and smoke. For a table covered in cheese, I give Jake a seven. Well, it was very nice. So it was cheese. Cheese on a plate, not on a plate, on a table, um, of lots of stuff. Um, but you buy cheese, you put it on the table. But that's 
one, zero. Ten! Tasted good. You can hear all the other drunkards singing in the back room, but it's not my style. Cheese. Oh, so much cheese. And because there's so much cheese and my inability to speak about cheese anymore, I give you a 10 out of 10 for the cheese. Very good cheesing. <sighs> Fucking cheese, Borg. Fucking amazing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Jake Wilkes, you know, doubtful I was as we started this conversation, but all I can say is Jake forward slash Shylock Wilkeshire. I'll help you, I'll help you. What's That's a 10. Very, very well done. Doki. All right. Positive reaction, I've got to say. Uh, cut my finger a couple of times. Disappointed with the camembert. I'm hoping I get eights or nines. Um, it cost me a lot of money. There was a lot of cheese left over. Positive reactions all around. So I'm hoping that the level of alcohol has helped. So we just had dessert. Um, I was given a piece of cake that was this big, okay? No one should be given a piece of cake that's that big. But, it's all good, cut a little piece off, and enjoyed it, and it was very good. So, get some eight. Boom. <laughs> oh. oh, that was pretty epic, I have to say, but as amazing as it was, I'm so full, so, so full. And again, I don't give tens out easily, but annoying because it was amazing, but oh, that is all, that is really all. Oh, it was bloody good chocolate cake, but eight because the portion sizes were just too big. Well, as you can see, I'm, I'm still eating because it's very sweet, sweet, and very nice. It's a little big, but for someone that we know Germany doesn't cook, thanks to Iceland, I give eight out of ten. Well done, Hodge. Wow, you know, we've just had the, uh, the captain's dessert, it was a surprise. I don't really want to cast judgement on who may have cooked it, I don't think it was the captain, realistic. But, you know, all things considered, it did bloody well. I do a little bit feel as though I might be dying on the basis of his high cholesterol, high fat dessert. But I'm willing to give him a score of controversially one, four, fourteen point five. He's done pretty well. It's controversial, I know, but you know, that's the way I roll. Supposedly, I've got to evaluate my own cost. Um, it tasted good. There you go. 